Java 17 New Features Jeb 406 Pattern Matching for Switch Part 1 Summary Enhance the Java programming language with pattern matching for switch expressions and statements along with extensions to the language of patterns. Extending pattern matching to switch allows an expression to be tested against a number of patterns, each with a specific action, so that complex data-oriented queries can be expressed concisely and safely. Goals There are six goals for doing such. First, expand the expressiveness and applicability of switch expressions and statements by allowing patterns to appear in case labels. Second, Allow the historical non-hostility of switch to be relaxed when desired. Third, introduce two kinds of patterns. First, guarded patterns to allow pattern matching logic to be refined with arbitrary Boolean expression. Second, parenthesized patterns to resolve some parsing ambiguities. Fourth, ensure that all existing switch expressions at and statements continue to compile with no changes and execute with identical semantics. Fifth, do not introduce a new switch-like expression or a statement with pattern matching semantics that is separate from the traditional switch construct. Sixth, do not make the switch expression or statement behave differently when case labels are patterns versus when case labels are traditional constants. We often want to compare variables such as object O against multiple alternatives. Java supports multi-way comparisons with switch statements and since Java 14 switch expressions, but unfortunately switch is very limited. You can only switch on values of a few types, and you can only test for exact equality against constants. We might like to use patterns to test the same variable against a number of possibilities, taking a specific action on each. But since the existing switch does not support that, we end up with a chain of if-else, such as this.
This code benefits from using pattern instance of expressions, but it is far from perfect. First and foremost, this approach allows coding errors to remain hidden because we have used an overly general control construct. The intent is to assign something to format it in each arm of the if-else chain. But there is nothing that enables the compiler to identify and verify this invariant. If some block, perhaps one of these executed really, does not assign to format it, we have a bug. In addition, the code is not optimizable. Absent compiler heroics, it will have O and time complexity, even though the underlying problem is often O1. But switch is a perfect match for pattern matching. If we extend switch statements and expressions to work on any type, and all the case labels with patterns rather than just constants, then we could rewrite the above code more clearly and reliably, like this. The semantics of this switch are clear. A case label with a pattern matches the value of the selector expressions or if the value matches the pattern. The intent of this code is clearer because we are using the right control construct. We are saying the parameter O matches at most one of the following conditions. Figure it out and evaluate the corresponding R. As a bonus, it is optimizable. In this case, we are more likely to be able to perform the dispatch in O1 time. Pattern matching and null. Traditionally, switch statements and expressions through null pointer exception if the selector expression evaluates to null. So testing for null must be done outside of the switch. Something like this. This was reasonable well switch supported only a few references type. However, if switch allows a selector expression of any type and case labels can have type patterns, then the standalone null 
test fields like an arbitrary distinction and invite needless boilerplate and opportunity for error. It would be better to integrate the null test into the switch. Something like this. The behavior of the switch when the value of the selector expression is null is always determined by its case labels. With a case null, the switch executes the code associated with that label. Without a case null, the switch throws null pointer exception, just as before. We may wish to handle null in the same way as another case label. For example, in this code, case null string s would match both the null value and all string values.